FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Almond in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. What I give, it takes away. Yes, indeed it is. Whether I go or when I stay. Tim Jones in for Jamie Almond. FM News Talk 97.1. Distracted here because I got a message from uh, resident liberal <laughs> friend of the show, Mark Kaysen. <laughs> What did he have to say? He's, I don't know. He's blathering on about something about a free dinner that Kevin Jackson and I are going to owe him because of Trump, and he thinks <laughs> we're going to be hungry, and he's he's smoking again like he always does. And I'll deal with Kaysen later. <laughs> Probably have to deal with him on the TV show or something. I don't know. He's he's a good duck, but he's uh, very confused. <laughs> Let's talk with a little KJ next. Kevin Jackson. Keep it here. You found the Black Spear. <laughs> the black sphere kj how you doing my friend all right man yeah case and he's he's gonna owe us dinner he, he's the same guy and you know they cut that they cut the uh part where he when we did that tv deal with jamie they cut the part where case essentially is where i reamed him out for saying what's he got to help black people for you know and, and and him saying something along the lines of yeah if you know i need to help you and because uh, when i finally saw the clip <laughs> Yeah, they cut it. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, well, I saw oh, it, I and I was like, you know, because I thought that was the be- one of the better parts of the show, where he's literally, you know, what are we going to do if, you know, I was like, oh, really? So Democrats need to help black folks, because how would we possibly survive without, you know, you elitist white folks? But anyway, I don't even remember the bet, but he's going to owe us money. Absolutely. And uh, absolutely. let me tell you, I, I don't know what's going on with Wiki, but I'm curious to see what Julian Assange releases about uh, about Hillary Clinton, and it may come... Uh, she got a reprieve this week, uh, believe it or not, the anti-gay, gay Muslim guy right. who shot right. up the club uh, is what took her out of the news cycle, took Hillary Clinton out of the news cycle, because the email thing was looming. Yes. And I think it's, you know, with this appointment she made, putting this guy on the nuclear commission, um, and now they're starting, I mean, little by little, they're starting to leak out. So I I think Hillary's going to have a really bad week uh, next week. Yeah. Now, and I don't know if you saw, they said, uh, I saw it on TV today, they said, uh, Hillary's polling 12 points ahead of Trump. And I looked at the poll, they polled 750 people to give us a national poll that says Hillary Clinton is polling 12 points ahead of Trump. That's how desperate the leftist media is to make sure that the narrative is Trump is wrong on the issue of race right. and, and, and with these uh, Muslims. Yeah, Kevin, this was a huge blow, I think, to her this week because now, as, as you've noticed, she has suddenly had to do a complete about-face on her positions on radical jihadists and everything that she was uh, advocating for during her campaign with Bernie. She now has to completely, basically undo that entire web, right? Yeah, and then she, you know, you're exactly right. So she's done the flip-flop. And I read an article in Salon that said, let's own the terrorism thing by saying that, you know, we were the ones for it, you know, for doing all this other stuff. So you're seeing the flip-flop. You see Obama mocking uh, Trump by saying, hey, Donald Trump, you still want to keep these Muslims out. Well, hey, the last three Muslim tax attacks in America were by American Muslims. Now, if you don't see the twisted logic in Barack Obama coming on to it, to coming, uh, giving a press conference to explain We've imported our own Muslims, and now we don't have to worry about the ones on the outside, Donald. Uh, that is just so ridiculous. I, I don't even know how he could say that with a straight face. These are supposed to be smart people. Jay Johnson was asked specifically about this attack, and he comes on, and he literally he, he starts talking about all the things that they've done to protect us. The day, the day of the attack, he's not saying, you know what, something slipped through the cracks. We're going to go take a look. He's explaining how well they've done. Right. <laughs> it, right. They, they are so incredulous in the level of stupidity that's on the left. And I, I, I'm going to tell you, I can't imagine you're an American on the left, and you're looking at the people that you believe are right about this nation and, and have all their policies are so good, and you're not looking at yourself and saying, you know what, I've been an idiot for a lot of years. And, and people like me to couch my language when I deal with liberals because they say, well, Kevin, you're going to bring a bunch of them over. You cannot reason with these people. Look at the elitist among them. 
that don't even know what they're talking about. Barack Obama ex- essentially telling us, hey, you, in effect, uh, Tim, he's gloating mm-hmm. that the terrorists that have attacked America are American citizens. Who would be bragging that your citizens are attacking you? Yeah, he seems to be. He seems to be somehow strangely. Like you said, like proud of that fact. I He's proud get that. of the fact that these that it's homegrown. You've heard terms that you've never heard before. Self radicalization. What is self radicalization? <laughs> this kid was radicalized because he's never been Americanized. Right. His dad was a radical. He he is a, he is a, a radical because he is he pays attention to the baby of of of, Ameri- of uh, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, a little baby known as ISIS. They engendered this little baby. Well. We never knew the, ner- the term ISIS. Kevin, he, he likes to say that they're homegrown and they're American, so he can then make the issue about gun control, right? That's the point. He wants to make it, well, they're American citizens. I, I, I've never heard of a person gloating that, you know, our citizens are killing each other. It would be like somebody gloating at GM that he, we make sorry cars. Hey, you know what, GM, we make the worst cars. Right. Kevin, I've noticed, okay, I've been pleasantly surprised that there have been some some real leaders in the gay community like Barney Frank and some others that have actually come out pretty quickly and said, look, we have a problem here. We have an enemy here and we all better get together and stop not saying what it is. Do you think do you think that that has some legs? Is there going to be some leadership in the gay community? Are they finally going to realize that Democrats do not have their back on this? Yeah, I think so. And I think it's funny when you see, you know, the sacred cows start to eat each other, uh, because you have the sacred cow of Islam on the, on the left, as well as the sacred cow of, of the LGBT community, who I call the genitalians. And they're, they're at each other now. And, and what's happening is the genitalians, the LGBT crowd, is finally having to say, you know what? These people don't like us. We cannot support the policies that are allowing this to happen. And so it builds a conflict within the left. The beauty of being a conservative is you're never conflicted because you know where you stand. It's right against wrong. I don't have a problem with Muslims. I have a problem with Muslims who come to this country and don't want to become Americans first. That's the problem, and I think that's what we're starting to see. Gays are starting to see it because now, even though they're going to use this as they're being targeted, look, Muslims are not discriminate. They don't care. It was gays this time. How many Christians have been killed all over the world prior to, you know? No, that we never hear about. You and know. you're never going, you know, they, they've gotten to the point where we don't even talk about this. Look, there have been, a, been attacks during Ramadan. Get this, Tim. Uh-huh. There have been attacks in Tel Aviv, Damascus, Idlib, uh, uh, Orlando, Paris again. Paris, Paris again, and yes. Just, I mean, there have been, I think, six or seven attacks during Ramadan with Muslims all over the world, and, and you know, in all the different countries. There's hardly, Antarctica is the only place that probably hasn't been attacked. <laughs> and Obama says there's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, man. It's existential. Right. Hey, KJ, thank you so much, my friend, at the Black Sphere, theblacksphere.net. Kevin, we'll talk to you again real soon, my friend. Take care, Tim. Bye-bye. You'll be good. That was Kevin Jackson, the Black Sphere. We've got Jay Stewart, the Gray Falcon, up next. So keep it right here. Tim Jones in for Jamie Allman here at FM News Talk 97.1. All within the morning.